Hello! Welcome to my YouTube channel and to my creative studio. I'm so happy I can introduce you my kids. Also these cute beanies with pom-poms, I crochet for them. I hope you will love them as they do. These beanies are very easy to crochet and they are absolutely perfect for this season. I used amber effect and uh, to puff stitches. So if you are interested how to crochet these wonderful beanies, keep on watching. All information about this project and the pattern is available at my website. And also please look at the box below the video, there are all information as well. For this project you have to choose two colors. And I will show you how to make the ombre effect when we will crochet. I will start with magic ring and I use two yarns of the same color. Into the magic ring place three chains as our first double crochet and then continue working and into the magic ring place 11 more double crochet. So in the first row you will have 12 double crochet in the magic ring. So keep on working until you have 12 stitches. In this first row and also in the second row I count three chains at the beginning as our first double crochet. Okay, so one more. And we have 12 double crochets done. Now Tighten your magic ring firmly and join the circle. Okay, so play the slip stitch in the third chain from the beginning. And the first round is ready. The second one start chain three and then into the same uh, space place one more double crochet. So you have two double crochet in the same space. In the next space between stitches made in the previous row place two double crochet. So I'm placing double crochet between double crochet from the previous row and I always put two double crochet in that space. So this is my third group of two double crochet. This is the fourth group and I will make 12 groups. So in total in the second uh, round you will have 24 double crochets. In that row always place two double crochet between double crochet from the previous row. Finish the second row with slip stitch in the third chain from the beginning. Chain 3 and now I will make puff stitch. Insert the hook in the first space on the third chain you just made and uh, pull yarn through, yarn over and pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over Insert the hook in the same space, yarn over, pull through and pull through two loops on your hook. Now you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, insert the hook in the same space, yarn over and pull through and pull through two loops on your hook. Now you have four loops on your hook and pull through the yarn through all loops on your hook and chain one. And your first puff stitch is made this is perfect 
and we will repeat that process in uh, all uh, our project in each space between two uh, double crochet from the previous row place one puff stitch and always it's a cluster of three double crochet finish by chain one chain one so we have two puff stitches done into the next space place another the third puff stitch so the first double crochet the second one and the third one pull yarn through all loops on your hook chain one and that's it and repeat the pattern into each space between two double crochets from the previous row always finish the puff with chain one to fix it so we have 24 double crochet in the previous row and in the third row we will have 24 puff stitches in total finish the row by slip stitch and that's it chain three and please don't count these chains as a um, double crochet we will make three double crochet into the space uh, below uh, these chains so into the same space play three double crochet cluster fix it by chain one and the first puff in the fourth round is ready and we had in the third round 24 puff stitches the same number you will have in that row as well into each space between uh, puff stitches place one puff stitch so you will have 24 puff stitches in uh, that row and this is everything you need to know my crochet friends you already know the pattern and you can create this wonderful beanie for yourself so the pattern is really easy as I told you as I promised and you will just keep crocheting this pattern and make the beanie in uh, the desired length and that's it so let me recap it so you will start each uh, round uh, with uh, chain three and don't count this uh, chain three as a puff stitch then make 24 puff stitches place them between the puff stitches from the previous row and finish the row by slip stitch if you have four rows of gray puff stitches ready you can change the color of one of gray um, yarn I decided to use pink color because it's a beanie for my daughter changing the colors it's very easy and you will you will simply create the ombre effect um, by yourself and you can choose the colors you love so I chose a uh, gray and pink and uh, use the pink and gray yarn for next three uh, rounds so the seven eight and nine uh, row is made by pink and gray yarn always in each round have 24 puff stitches in total and finish the row by slip stitch so it's quite easy <laughs> okay look at this effect it's look really lovely and once you have three rows ready you can change uh, the color again and I used 
only a pink color to finish the beanie. So now I have two yarns of pink color at my hook and I made three more rows. The pattern is absolutely the same. I have 24 stitches in each uh, round. So what do you think? Is it cute? I love it. We are almost at the end of our project. This is our last row, row number 13. And for ending I decided to use single crochets. So into each stitch from the previous round place one single crochet. So into chain one and on the top of puff stitch. Uh, for the last row I used um, the small crochet hook to make the beanie a bit uh, narrow at the end but of course you can use uh, the same crochet hook um, if you want to. The smaller crochet hook will make only a little uh, difference in the end. So let me quickly recap. I made four gray rows, then three rows of pink gray and at the end three rows of pink color and I finish the beanie with single crochet. So what do you think? I told you it's a really easy and very quick project. So congratulations the beanie for this young lady is ready and we can continue with the beanie for my son. Again start with magic ring and chain 3 as our first double crochet. This pattern is very similar to that pattern I already shown you but there are uh, small differences because I had to uh, create this beanie um, a bit smaller. So chain 3 and then 9 double crochet place into the magic ring. So in total, because I count the first chain 3 as a double crochet, you will have 10 double crochet place in the magic ring. So once you have 10 stitches ready, Okay, have 10, this is perfect. So join the last stitch with the slip stitch and place in the third chain from the beginning. The second row is the same uh, pattern as I already used. So chain three and into the same space place one more double crochet. And into each space between two double crochet you already make in the first round place two double crochet. So in the first row I have 10 double crochet and in the second row I will have 20 double crochet, 20 stitches. So two double crochet placed into um, double crochets from the previous row into each space between them. Okay, so uh, just I will mention that uh, for the girls size I had in that row 24 stitches. For that smaller size I used 20 stitches in the second row. Okay, and joined by slip stitch into the third chain from the beginning. Chain 1, then insert the hook between two double crochet from the previous row, pull yarn through and make a chain 1. Then once again insert the hook into the same space, pull yarn through and chain 1. And once more insert the hook into the same space, pull yarn through and pull yarn through the loop on your hook. You have four loops on your hook and now pull yarn through all of them and make chain one. In the next space, 
between uh, double crochets from the previous row again place three chain stitches and join them by chain one to fix them now pull yarn through all loops on your hook and chain one into each space between double crochet from the previous row place one this small puff stitch and this small puff stitch is made of three chain stitches together so this is the only difference i used for girls size cluster of double crochet as the cluster of double crochet is a bit uh, higher a bit bigger than this smaller one in that row i have 20 small puff stitches and i'll repeat that process for um whole my project into each space between puff stitches i already made place one puff stitch in each row you will have 20 small puff stitches easy isn't it so again um, the same number of stitches in each row and you can change the color to make the ombre effect for boys uh, beanie i use gray color i started with gray color and later on i will add blue color so this is uh, will be the the ombre effect of gray and uh, blue so once you have four rows ready change gray to a blue so you will have one yarn of gray and one yarn of blue on your hook and keep using the same pattern into each space place one small puff stitch and this small puff stitch is made of three chain stitches cluster it's very simple and very easy project and you can really play with colors and change them as you like okay, so this is it and I made one uh, row then I changed the color I used only blue one for the sixth row and for the next row I used again the gray and the blue color of course you can change the colors as you like I just wanted to show you how it looks like when you choose the colors uh, in the middle of beanie of course you can um, keep the same pattern I used for the girl size and uh, made only two changes okay so this is it now I'm working on the seventh row on my project and um, the number of stitches is the same and this is how my beanie looks like I made one more uh, shift of um, colors and now I finish with a blue for ending the beanie I use single crochets all around into each stitch place one single crochet so the row 13 and 14 is made by single crochets all around so this is my last row it's row number 14 and i would like to show you how to finish this row by invisible ending the invisible stitch so when you finish your last single crochet cut the yarn and pull yarn through then find the first stitch you made at the beginning it's the first chain so this one this is it and pull yarn under this v of that stitch like that 
and then find the last stitch you made this is this one and pull yarn through the back loop so into the middle in the middle of that last V okay, like that and this is it and you created the perfect uh, invisible last stitch so the beanie for boy is ready let me recap the pattern I used uh, small puff stitches in each row I have 20 puff stitches uh, at the beginning I use gray yarn then I mix it with the blue and again I use the, the gray yarn and I finish with the blue color I finish the beanie with two rows of single crochet and as I have uh, some yarn left I decided to make a do-it-yourself pom-poms so if you want to know how to make these lovely pom-poms let's keep watching the final measurement and the end for the perfect fit the boy size is 21 inches uh, 54 centimeters and the girl size is 23 inches 58 centimeters I usually make uh, the pom-poms by myself so I already have the pom-pom make already uh, so uh, just cut the pom-pom maker from the cardboard make two pieces put the yarn between them and wrap the yarn around wrap uh, it uh, as much as you can then make a tighten slip knot I made twice then place the scissors between uh, two pieces of cardboard and cut the loops so, and this is it uh, your pom-pom is almost ready now there will be a, a bit messy part because we have to cut the yarn to make a perfect ball now shake it out and place the pom-pom between two parts of cardboard and make um, a lot of a lot of cuts then shake it uh, out again and put it uh, between two cardboards again and cut the yarn then repeat the process as many times as you need to create the perfect pom-pom so now I'm satisfied with my pom-pom and I will place it on the top of my beanie insert the hook from the inside uh, out uh, on the top of your beanie and pull the yarn through and uh, make a knot and this pink pom-pom was made by my daughter she also uh, loves um, any handmade uh, project so we are at the end uh, of uh, this video tutorial I hope you enjoy watching and look at the kids they are so happy and they are always very excited to create the video tutorials with me so thank you very much once again for watching and if you like the video please subscribe my channel. Take care and see you soon. Bye bye.